to city centre and other communities in the outskirts of the city, there are large numbers of manholes, pits and gutters created for passage of pipes, electricity cables and other infrastructure for access way for water as well as maintenance of sewage systems. Unfortunately, the situation presently is that many have either been left unmaintained or have been vandalized and are now constituting grave danger at night or during heavy rainfall when they are filled with water. On the existing road that they, they still have been vandalized, that is removed or stolen, we, when we have encountered such uh, locations, we are replacing with this concrete or this composite material. But the activities of these vandals has made it become imperative now that we may have to devise other means. So we have started looking at the possibility of introducing these locks and in some locations tagging or welding. Commuters say open gutters and manholes should be immediately covered as the rains would become more intense in the coming months and it could be fatal for motorists or pedestrians. We do vandalize things that are meant for our own good. Like you drive to the city and you get to realize that these manholes covers have been filled up or shall I say replaced by dirt and debris and whatnot. If the government can address the source of demand for these vandalized items, I believe that the issue of the vandalization will be mitigated or even eliminated. Permanent Secretary, Federal Capital Territory Administration, Olushade Adeshola, decried the spate of vandalism and theft of gully inlets, manhole covers, and other flood containment infrastructure along Abuja City roads. The Permanent Secretary expressed this displeasure after a flood assessment tour of parts of the city. The manhole covers that were placed here, even on this particular road that we are. Last year they were there, but now all of them had been removed. They were not removed by ghosts, they were removed by people. And this is federal capital city where we have all the law enforcement agencies present. They want to beckon on every citizen and our law enforcement agencies to support the effort of FCT in protecting lives and properties through the provision of road infrastructure. Relevant authorities say efforts are now being intensified to seal up the open manholes and gullies so as to avert accidents during the rainy season. A lot of resources is committed to replacing these manholes. But not long after they are replaced, they are removed. On this particular road that we are, dog time materials that so we want to appeal to every citizen, when you see something, report something. We have the number 112 where we can make emergency reports when something unusual is happening. Report it so that our law enforcement agencies can be invited to deal with the situation. In this way, we will all be contributing to making FCT flood free. In Abuja, Ifani, Izumba. And